What rank were you? I left the Army as a private first class, and I left the Navy as a petty officer second class. Basically, that's an E5. That's the same rank as an Army sergeant. How'd you just how did you stay in touch with your family? Well, when I was in the Army, we basically stayed in touch simply by writing letters, uh, making phone calls whenever we got the chance. When I was in the Navy, I also had the opportunity to use the, the ship's internet system to use to send emails. That became a very important way to keep in touch with the family. What was the food like? Oh, well, the food did pretty much depended on where you were and what you were doing. Sometimes the food was really, really good, especially on Thanksgiving, so the food was wonderful. Uh, sometimes, especially when you're in the field or when you're out in the ship in the middle of the water for a couple months at a time, eventually you ran short on supplies and the food got really, really bad until you got fresh supplies. Did you feel pressure or stress? Well, yes, because you feel stress all the time, especially when you're serving overseas. Because, well, they call it forward deployed, even in Korea, because anything could happen at any point in time. In Korea, you said that, well, North Korea can attack at any time, which is true. Even today, North Korea can attack at any time, which is why we still have troops there. In the Navy, when you're in Japan, you're simply on call for anything that can happen uh, anywhere in that area. There are numerous times that we were out at sea when we had a, a submarine from some country that I probably can't tell you what the country was. And of course, the tsunami that, that happened in, that we were one of the ones to respond to that one too. Uh, so when you're forward deployed, you are prepared for anything to happen. But then in, of course, early 2003, we were put on basically 72 hours notice that we were going to deploy to the Persian Gulf, which became Operation Right to Freedom. And almost to the very minute that was 72 hours later, we were actually deployed to the Persian Gulf. And that type of lifestyle where you are forward deployed, we, where you have to be called upon at any moment to do well, anything. It could be a deployment or you could be pulling into some fantastic foreign port visit. You have to be prepared for any of those two options. And that creates a tremendous level of stress that if you're not ready for it or if you don't know how to handle stress, it will become very difficult for you. Was there something special you did for good luck? Well, when I was in the military, I was very, very religious. So when it came to, well, good luck, I didn't really believe in luck, but I always read my Bible and, and prayed. I was also a religious lay leader, so which meant I was responsible for providing religious services for other uh, members of the crew. And of course, anybody that's ever visited my YouTube channel will know that my views about religion have changed, but it, doesn't uh, does change the fact that when I was in the military, I was very religious, so that was important to me. How did people entertain themselves? Well, yeah, entertain yourselves a lot of ways. You can play, uh, a lot of people played video games, we watched movies. There are sometimes a, a unit band that we, that people would get together and, and play and entertain themselves. Uh, basically, you find Anything that you can do, especially when you're, you're out at sea or you're deployed or you're out in the field, anything that you can do to, to relax and keep yourself entertained to try to keep other people entertained, it's a great way to relieve the stress. What did you do when on leave? Uh, when on leave, I tried to spend as much time with my family as I could. Uh, sometimes the leave periods were shorter than others. There were two times when I went home on leave, I actually didn't go home right away. I actually uh, drove across country basically to get from one duty station to another. 
Um, and that was a good experience for me for being overseas for, for so long, just to be able to uh, get into my minivan. It's the same minivan I still have, by the way, and just, just drive, just hit the road and just, just drive.